Thanks so much, guys. Uh, I'm here joined by Complexity of Got Config and Rush. It's a chilly day in the studio. Uh, we're here for a week, too, but you guys have already been here for a week, haven't you? Yeah, we've been playing the Open Qualifier for the minor, so um, so we've been there for a little time and we're ready to play Blast. How's that been going? <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> haven't been going that well. It's been going pretty, pretty bad, in my opinion. Uh, we have one more shot, so we'll get it this time. Yeah, it's like after Blast, you'll have another chance to uh, qualify to the minor? Yeah, we have one more chance, and we lost the first two, and then we kind of have to play here, and so we can play the third one, and we have to play the fourth one, so that's the last chance. Will, we're in the group of death, okay? Yeah. And uh, you guys are the small fish in this group. Are you expecting good results? Do you have tempered expectations? I mean, I think we're going to play pretty well. Like, we've played, like, a lot. Not, not necessarily these teams. Maybe, like, we've played Navi and Vitality in scrims before, and we have beat them pretty, like, one-sided, and they beat us the same way. Okay. But, like, we haven't played a shot that much, but I think that... We've been doing a lot of homework, and I think that we're up to snuff right now. And I think that, like, playing these open qualifiers, we're kind of, like, they were expected to win those those matches, you know? So maybe there's a little undue pressure there. Mm -hmm. But with these matches, we're, like, the heavy underdogs. So I think we're going to play a lot more looser and how we should play, like we had in practice, I think. So You got the same confidence? Of course. Uh, we've been practicing against the teams when we were in Europe, so I, I feel confident that we we can definitely be beat all of them. Mm. Any uh, Anything interesting to talk about with you guys being now a European team or how's it how's it been with european teammates i mean it's interesting i haven't had this before i've had two european teammates before and uh flush uh, and keel you know and obviously that was kind of like an na team with europeans in it and we almost like actually transitioned into a full european team and cloud nine but that never happened mm -hmm. but i am used to it and they speak like pretty good english so it's not that much of a difference honestly like the only difference is maybe like val or poison has kind of like he's, he's learning a lot of english right now and he's still like a little behind but he's getting better every day mm -hmm. but the danish guys they kind of like speak pretty fluent english so it's not like much of a difference honestly than playing with any players and uh playing with uh, north american players can you handle it man these guys are so toxic uh this guy is definitely the hardest one to play with uh own is like own and the slatter is just slatter you know flattered uh, yeah he, he's he's a machine but will we, we need to take care of him all every day and wash his clothes and stuff like that <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, like a, a mess, grown, grown ass baby yeah, yeah totally <laughs> he's uh, spot on <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the tiny elephant in the room. We got Obo, right? Okay. Everybody here is a meathead on the team. Uh, blame F, the biggest one's not even here right now. Uh, what's the deal with Obo? Are, is he is he coming to the gym with you guys? I I'm getting him in there a little bit. You know, I'm trying my best. I had him do a leg day once and he couldn't walk the next day. So I was like, maybe that was like a one and done for him. But I, I don't think he goes sometimes. Like, I remember like Blame said like, he was in the elevator going down from the practice room or coming out from the practice room at like 4 a.m. and he saw Owen in the elevator at 4 a.m. He's like, what are you doing, Owen? He's like, I was at the gym and I got four, 4 a.m. He's like, yeah, man. So I think he, he does his little sessions on his own. So it's kind of unique. Yeah. Are you, are you rubbing off on him? Of course. Uh, we have to get him to the gym sometimes. Little Owen, he says twig arm right now. And he will, he will look he will look like blame one day. <laughs> He'll look like blame one day. Yeah, he's going to explode. I don't think his skin can stretch that much. Um, one more question, guys, before we go. It's something interesting I just asked on Twitter. How much in general, just to, just to, you don't have to think about it too much, but like where would you, how much, what percentage would you give to CS in terms of aim? How important is aim in CS if you had to give it a percentage, a percentage out of 100 with everything else involved, like 50%, 30% of CS's aim? I would say 75% because with aim you probably get the longest, but if you like learn to play smarter with the time like you play, if you just started playing professionally, you probably get picked up because you're good at aiming. You don't get picked up because you're like really, really smart. Mm. So I definitely feel like 75%. I'd say it depends on the role, really. Like, I think, like, if you're, like, an entry fragger, you kind of need some sick game to, like, actually make those entries happen. And maybe if you're, like, more of a support player or, like, you're thinking more about the teammates, you don't need it that much because mm -hmm. you can win with your brain, you know? So I think it's, like, pretty 50-50 split for me and maybe even less for some roles and even more for some roles. I think it's really, like, interchangeable. Mm. So. Okay, cool. Thanks so much for the interview, guys. Yeah. Uh, we'll go back to the desk and uh, let us know what you guys think about that.